Hello, good evening. This is on computers from openmentor.net. Today we are we are going to see parts of computers. To understand what all the parts in a computer, it is very simple. You take a human being. You have a head, body trunk, legs, hands. This is a standard part of any human being. Same way, computers also have standard parts in them. Now, let us take human head alone. You have something which is have which is the mouth, okay? Through mouth, you talk. That means it produces sound. Same way, computers do have speakers. This is the speaker. You have the headset. Now, the human has two eyes through which you see computers do have the webcam through the webcam the computer can recognize the pictures get the pictures the human has ears the computer can hear through the microphone which is attached to your headphone. Let us take the human head alone. You have something called the brain, right? The brain has got multiple functions within the human. It has got two parts. One is memory. You remember certain things. I was like this, I was like this in the year, he is my teacher, he was my teacher. You remember so many things, there is a memory part. You store information. In memory, you store information. The other part of the brain makes decisions. This means, if it is a hot water, I cannot touch it it will burn my fingers. It is fire, I cannot go near. I see a line, I should not go near. So, it remembers something based on which decide. The decision making is the other part of the brain. Same way, the computer has got something called CPU. The brain in the human body is equivalent to the CPU of the computer. The CPU has got internally something called a memory. They call it as RAM, Random Access Memory, and ROM, Read Only Memory. Let us see what is ROM. For example, do you know how to operate the heart? No. But the brain knows how to operate the heart, which is already stored in your brain without even learning. That part is called ROM, read-only memory. You cannot so easily erase it. Random access memory is something you learn and then you retain in your brain. Same way, this has got some stored information which can be erased, modified, etc. So that is RAM and ROM. So it has got memory. Then, there is a processor chip. You can, uh, you may see Intel Pentium chip or Celeron chip, AMD chip. This is called processor. This processor is equivalent to your decision making part of your brain. Correct? But what human beings 
with hand you can draw something make others understand same way the computer has got a monitor through which it can paint something and then show it to you so let us connect the eyes to the computer let us connect this one let us connect the eyes and ears and the mouth at the same time computer also needs input your inputs most of the time for the human being it comes through eyes and ears computer has got additional thing that is called the keyboard you have got the keyboard through which you can give the input to the computer then to the computer this is the pointing device called mouse it looks like a mouse this is the tail of the mouse so all these parts are connected to the computer in simple analogy it can be a simple human being with all these parts let us recollect this brain of the computer of the human being is the cpu processor the memory in the brain is equal to your ram and rom your eyes which is equal to webcam your mouth through which you produce sound which is nothing but speakers additionally there are inputs like keyboard and mouse so the computer is nothing but an automated version of a human being this is why the computers evolve and then operate with a structure element like a human being it becomes a robot a robot is nothing but a toy which looks like a human being at the same time decides at the same time it remembers at the same time sees at the same time talks so this is how a computer is exactly or very very close and similar to a human being thanks for listening this session this is from openmentor.net